Russians, uh, as the U.S. senior uh, members of the U.S. government confirmed, have been hacking into Democratic accounts, and now they've hacked into my account. They put out uh, documents that are purported to be from my account. I don't think we can dignify documents dumped by WikiLeaks and just assume that they're all accurate and true. Anybody who hacks in to get documents is uh, completely capable of manipulating them. So we have two Hillary Clintons which says we have a person who's a liar, uh, because that's what she is. It's always a pleasure to hear your voice and to see you. Don, I want to start with something that hasn't broken through a lot. It got talked about a little bit today. I saw you on ABC, and that is this WikiLeaks story and the emails that are coming from it and what's inside them. Um, you can't confirm that she gave these speeches to these firms? Well, first of all, as you well know, uh, Brett, early this year, the Democratic National Committee announced that we were the victims of a cybercrime. And while many in the media uh, spent their entire focus on the contents of the emails that were released, uh, and in some cases releasing personal uh, identifying information uh, of private individuals, uh, our job at the Democratic National Committee is to ensure that we protect uh, not just the person personal uh, identifying information, but we protect the sanctity uh, of our electoral process. So with regards to this latest uh, round of emails that were dropped, whether it's Colin Powell, whether it's John Podesta, or Donna Brazil, or, D or Bernie, here's my, here's my view. If it's postmarked from Russia, which is what we believe it is, and the United States government confirmed that on Friday, I'm not in the business of opening it up to corrupt our system any further with the spyware, the malware, and the disinformation that they're spreading. Welcome to my chambers. The hack on the Democratic National Committee, which exposed emails, continues to intrigue. The emails which were exposed by WikiLeaks revealed a very strong bias on the part of high officials in the Democratic Party for the candidacy of Hillary Clinton and a very strong prejudice on the part of the same people towards the candidacy of Bernie Sanders. Even though such bias and prejudice had been alleged by Sanders and denied by the Democratic National Committee. It even resulted in the resignation of the chair of the committee as a result of a unanimous request from the members of the committee and the intervention of President Obama himself. But in order to get this issue off the front page, the DNC and the Clinton campaign decided to blame, of all people, the Russians. They accused Vladimir Putin of being in cahoots with Donald Trump and having his intelligence services hack the DNC to expose emails to make Mrs. Clinton look bad and thereby benefit Donald Trump. But the Russians had nothing to do with it. Because this week, a 30-year veteran of the National Security Administration, the NSA, the domestic spies who spy on all of us all the time, the former high-ranking NSA official who developed the software that the NSA now uses, which allows it to capture not just metadata, but content of every telephone call, text message, email in the United States, of every person in the United States of America. This individual said, guess what? The NSA hacked the Democratic National Committee. Why would the NSA hack the DNC? because the members of the intelligence community simply do not want Hillary Clinton to be president of the United States because she doesn't know how to handle state secrets because some of the state secrets that she revealed use the proper true names of American intelligence agents operating undercover in the Middle East when they lost their covers they ran for their lives and some of them didn't run fast enough and lost their lives it's very telling that the intelligence community would feel so strongly about Mrs. Clinton that they would attempt to sabotage her campaign to prevent her from becoming their boss. It's also telling that these folks would break American law in order to, in their view, save it. Welcome to my chambers. Fight the good fight. We have a process by yeah. which well, we you can know, Donna, review all of these documents without, without corrupting. No, this is very important because, again, I want to get to the, what we were the victims of a cyber crime. It is, it is a, it is, it is very, very important that everyone understand that the Democratic Party. This is yeah. not about partisanship. This is about country, and we want to protect. We no, want to protect the personal understood information about the that's Russian being, part of it. That, but Donna, let me destroyed. let me interrupt for a second. 
let me interrupt because if you want to clear the air about what is accurate and what is not, why not put out the transcripts of those speeches to those different firms? Why not? Look, look first of all, we here we go. The reason why we know that Secretary Clinton uh, gave these speeches in the first place is because she released information, because she released her taxes. When Donald Trump is so able put out to release the his taxes, right, and this is no quid pro quo. Look, put out, look, put out, put out the, put out his his uh, federal tax records to see what is his business dealings with Russia. Oh, but but I, I know that that issue is a yeah, big issue. If he stiffed individuals. But, but, but so you know what? The, these I, I'm the If you're I'm saying the, they're, the they're false the, in the look, emails. I'm the chair of the Democratic. I'm, I'm the chair of the Democratic National Committee. I'm not about to open up any emails uh, that, uh, that that's postmarked from Russia. In my opinion, the people that have been long-term workers at the FBI are furious. And you were telling me in the break, uh, FBI people, you were talking down uh, to down in Washington D.C. or really steamed about Comey's we're, decision. We're talking about FBI prosper. agents in the field, not management. We're talking about the people that actually worked the investigation, yeah. believe they were silenced and handcuffed, it, to use their phrases. It all looks it's just awfully good that someone with the temperament of Donald Trump is not in charge of the law in our country. Yeah. Because you'd be in jail. Secretary Clinton. <laughs> And what's really going on here, Martha, because our intelligence community just came out and said in the last few days that the Kremlin, meaning Putin and the Russian government, are directing the attacks, the hacking on American accounts to influence our election. And WikiLeaks is part of that, as are other sites where the Russians hack information, we don't even know if it's accurate information, and then they put it out. We have never in the history of our country been in a situation where an adversary, a foreign power, is working so hard to influence the outcome of the election. And believe me, they're not doing it to get me elected. They're doing it to try to influence the election for Donald Trump. She got caught in a total lie. Her papers went out to all her friends at the banks, Goldman Sachs, and everybody else. And she said things, WikiLeaks, that just came out. And she lied. Now she's blaming the lie on the late, great Abraham Lincoln. That's one that I have. Okay, honest Abe. Honest Abe never lied. That's the good thing. That's the big difference between Abraham Lincoln and you. But I notice anytime anything wrong happens, they like to say, the Russians, the Russians. she doesn't know if it's the Russians doing the hacking. Maybe there is no hacking. Look at that guy over there. Wow. What's your, what's your name? Nay. Now, he's supposed to look like Donald Trump, but he's actually much too good looking. You are really handsome. Are you having a good time tonight? Night. Where's your daddy? And your mommy, right? Do you want to go back? Do you want to go back to them or do you want to stay with Donald Trump? Trump. <laughs> 